All right, so I'm going to do a segment now where I just talk about where my eyes are when I'm out of combat, but expecting PvP at any point, and when I'm actually fighting. For the out of combat part, I'll just explain it here in Pandemonium because I don't really need to go into m too much detail, you know, there's generally not much going on on the screen. But for the combat part, I'll find a clip that I recorded of uh, me fighting just to explain, like, you know, if you see me doing this, etc., that's what I'd be doing in combat. So um, let's go ahead and get started for the one not in fight eye motion thing. Okay, I moved to Gelk because it's more dynamic. I'm also going to say that before I talk about where I'm looking, I'll be putting X's all across my GUI, also known as a GUI. <laughs> but um, no, I'll be putting X's all across my screen to indicate where I'm concentrating my focus more often. So if you see more X's in some spots, that just means I'm looking there more often. And there are probably more important things to be considering when you're running around expecting PvP. So the first thing is your radar. Now this can be either in the top right or the bottom right I believe. Yeah okay so I keep mine in the top right it doesn't really matter the point is that you should be using this because these are like your second pair of eyes and you can see if people are in some area um, if they're on some elevation you can't see them directly in front of you so it's a very good and handy indicator for what to expect and um, it's another like way to confirm like oh there's this many or you can see there's a blob etc. Regardless it's another way of getting information before you actually have to use it and having or knowing what you want to do is really important because it saves you a couple of key seconds in PvP in decision making so you can already know what you're going to do you have a plan and things like that are really essential to being a good PvP -er. uh, Next is um, a little window I have in my bottom right that shows everyone else's damage ally or enemy. They're color-coded. Uh, mobs are green, allies are light blue. I think enemies are purple. And the important thing is that you want to have a, a window that shows other people's damage, especially your enemy, because you might not be able to see them. Like your limit, or yeah, your vision is limited to what's on your screen or what's on your radar. So if there's someone that's like way behind you, but then still in range and they're like approaching or they're fighting, you'll be able to see them without actually having to see them if you catch my drift. <laughs> And that's the importance of having um, your another window, and I especially like to keep it away from like the regular combat window, just because you don't want to get the two distracted, and they're both pretty important for their own reasons. Oh, I just propped like a ton of things. <laughs> okay, and uh, as for everything else, you know, I'll go back to my screen now and then, back and forth glancing between my radar, my main screen, look down at my scrolls now and then to pop my um, scrolls, and maybe up here, well they're right next to each other so that's pretty much it for out of combat so again just a quick recap your radar is really important you should definitely look at it a lot uh, you should have a window open that shows other people's damage especially people that you're going to be PvPing against and you know just keep your eyes moving I also would like to say that you could try to localize everything like I keep every, most of this pre-combat stuff to the right because I don't know, I can focus my attention more here and then look in the center now and then, but all the other stuff I need is on the right side. That's a preference though, you don't have to do that, but that is my uh, way of thinking. So next is going to be in combat, and I just picked a clip because I don't really go, feel like going out and fighting right now. <laughs> I just wanted to record this because I crossed my mind and it was a good idea. So uh, we'll cut to that in one second. Okay, so this is a clip from Ingerson. Now, the majority of my time will be focused to the, let's say, center of the screen. I'll look to the right and swap to my extendable, but that takes a split second. Uh, one of the important things I'll say first is that my team window is to the left, and so is my regular damage window. So I'll be focusing more of my attention to the left side of the screen when it comes to in combat. So I shift from right to left. And um, that's important because I, I click the name of my teammates usually when I heal, and uh, that's one of the few things I click besides pots. So... That's what I'll generally like to do. Like you saw it a couple times there, but you know, target someone to heal just by clicking on them. I don't really use the F1 to F6 to click people that often. I prefer using those for like targeting more. Often. Another thing is that uh, my keys are, or no, my skills are mostly keybound, so I don't have to click anything, and that's such a huge deal in PvP because I don't have to look down at my hotbars at all, which means that I can focus so much more of my attention just on the screen, which right now is apparently chasing a transform. But um. <laughs> I just want to emphasize like the importance of 
keeping everything localized again because all my stuff is on the left side or the center now so I can only just have to look in one direction. I don't really need to use my radar that often because the fight's happening right now so I don't really need to care about, you know, too much about what's far away. It's, um, as well as other people damage. So I'll just quickly recap. This is a bit shorter because PvP doesn't tend to last that long. <laughs> but uh, keep everything localized again. Um, try not to focus too much on your hot bars keybind a little more often than you don't if you don't already keybind so that you don't have to focus your attention there and um, you know keep your team window somewhere that you can see everything and it won't get in the way but at the same time you can you still you know use it as a reference point for how the fight's going and uh, that's a pretty much brief explanation of that so one sec Okay, so it's time to end with the mandatory and obligatory <laughs> uh, recap of everything I wanted to say. So first and foremost, your radar is very important and you should definitely consider using it a lot if you don't already. Secondly, you want to keep windows open to have your own damage and other people's damage and you want them to be separate so that you can know what's going on. Uh, third, you want to keep a lot of your things that you'll be using at the same time, like radar or out of combat things, in um, close area or proximity so that you can reference them. Um, let's see. Fourth, uh, again with the keybinds. I love keybinds. You should definitely consider using keybinds. Keybind, keybind, keybind. And um, that's pretty much it. So, um, yeah, I'll go ahead and stop now, but thank you for watching, and see you guys next time.